Hello, welcome to Pathognomia. This is Jay. Today we're going to talk about spindle cell squamous cell carcinoma. Before we begin, thank you to University of Michigan for their online slides. Okay, spindle cell squamous cell carcinoma. These are poorly differentiated. You generally don't see a squamous component. You don't see any keratinization. You don't see any intercellular bridges. So in this section, we see the area of skin, we see epidermis, we see a dermis that has prominent solar elastosis. And we see this epidermal proliferation with ulceration that extends to the dermis and subcutis. And you can kind of see here the epidermis or you can appreciate the intercellular bridges. And then it kind of becomes dysplastic here. And you can see the transition and the extension to the dermis. So these generally appear on sun exposed skin, including the face, head, neck, and chest, which would explain the solar elastosis here. Uh, it could also happen in the mucocutaneous lesions. I've read several reports on, in it appearing in the larynx. Clinically, it's indistinguishable from your conventional squamous cell carcinoma. It appears as an exophytic plaque or nodule. Generally, it appears in older men greater than 70 years old. And you'll have these fascicles of pleomorphic spindle cells. And you're, if you see the spindle cells in the epidermis and dermis, you want to have your differential of SLAM. S for spindle cell squamous cell carcinoma, L for leiomyosarcoma, A for atypical fibrozanthoma, a diagnosis of exclusion, as well as angiosarcoma, and M for melanoma. You can order a CK56, P63, P40. Here's a CK56, and these should highlight and be positive for a spindle cell squamous cell carcinoma. You can order an SMA, Desmond, for a leiomyosarcoma, you can order SOX10 or S100 for melanoma. You can order vascular markers like ERG and D240, CD34 for angiosarcoma. And you can order a CD10 for your atypical fibrozanthoma as a diagnosis of exclusion. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you next time on the episode of Pathagonia.